Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news, this time with week 29, 2022. As always, you will find everything about VR and AR hardware, games, releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Vodkos VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats and VR Rock Prescription Lenses. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de Do you like augmented reality board games? Then check this out. There is a um, Kickstarter project with a Batman augmented reality board game. And this looks like, like here. You see the um, your real environment and you use with the smartphone. There are some augmented um, functions, for example, for the story or some moving people or something on the real um, board game and this this is this is so awesome and you can support it uh, on on Kickstarter in this article of VR score there's a link to the Kickstarter campaign and then you you are able to support that it's available for iOS and Android um, perhaps I will support that and show it on my channel um, I will I will check it out some bad news unfortunately so um, I think in 2020 or something, Ubisoft announced the development of Splinter Cell VR and Assassin's Creed VR and many people were happy, including me. I love the Splinter Cell universe and stuff. But now, unfortunately, Ubisoft cancelled the development of Splinter Cell VR. This is really, especially for me, this is bad news because uh, I'm I was looking forward to more non-casual games. Yeah? I mean, we have 99% small casual games in VR and I can't see them anymore. It's just nothing for me. Uh, I grew up with the PC and with AAA games and all big games and all the stuff. And I just cannot see wave shooters and small one hour experiences and small puzzle games and all the stuff. So I was looking forward to that, but yeah. So they also canceled Ghost Recon Frontline and two other unannounced games. No idea what that was, but yeah, unfortunately we will not see Splinter Cell VR in the future. But uh, as it seems, Assassin, at least Assassin's Creed VR is still in development. We will see. I hope they will not cancel that. Uh, the reason is just uh, cost optimization. Tja. Bad news, unfortunately. Some new gameplay scenes from Red Matter 2, the upcoming um, adventure game. And this here, what you just see is the Quest 2 version. And look at this. Look at this. This is so good. Yeah. And just when we talked about the casual games, to the developers, the Quest 2 is not only um, for casual games. It can also show good graphics, awesome AAA games. Just you have to, to use the power of the Quest 2. Yeah? Don't do just small ugly wave shooters or small puzzle games or whatever. You can do this on the Quest 2. So please do that. Yeah. So for me, Red Matter 2 is not a casual game. It's just a, a game where you uh, you have a big environment, you have uh, cool controls, a big story, nice graphics, physics interactions and all this stuff. And, and this is not a casual game for me. So I'm really looking forward to that. It will be released on uh, August 19, uh, 18th, 2022 on Quest 2 and PC VR. I'm, uh, it depends on what I get first. I think I will show the Steam VR version then, but the yeah, Quest 2 version also looks really awesome. I'm looking forward to Red Matter 2. So there's a new rumor about a new standalone VR headset from Valve. Um, the VR YouTuber Brad Lynch, uh, what we already know that he is really, he's doing his job very good. Just a few days ago, he did a nice leak and everything was true. So he's doing a good 
job in discovering secret stuff and, and leaks and all the stuff. And now he found a, a secret function in a beta release of Steam VR. And that is a hidden place base setup. This setup works with the pass through cameras of, of a VR headset. We have no idea which VR headset. So this could be the upcoming or an upcoming standalone VR headset by Valve. And that's really interesting. Huh? This is really, really interesting. And, uh, but it could also be just a new feature for the current Valve Index because it also has two cameras. We don't know, but all the rumors go in the direction that perhaps this year a uh, Valve Index successor will be announced. I don't know. And that makes the upcoming um, wireless adapter for the current Valve Index a little bit less interesting. We will see. So I'm looking forward to see more rumors and more hidden stuff. We will see. So there's an um, augmented reality headset incoming from Google. We already know that, but now the test is going to public. For now, it was only in laboratories, but there in this environment, you cannot test all the stuff, yeah, like navigation and, and things. And now some testers um, get the opportunity to try the uh, Google AR headset in public. But um, some things are locked, for example, the um, ability to take photos and videos um, because I, I think uh, of the privacy stuff. The, so Google had problems with the first, with the Google Glass, you know, um, they had cameras and people started to recording all the stuff and, and then um, the people didn't like that and they called them glass holes and, and stuff. Um, and now they, they locked that. I'm not sure if in the final version of the new Google AR headset, this function will also be locked. And for now, the, um, um, the cameras are only used for translation or navigation and, and things. And um, yeah, they, they will try that now in public. And yeah, this is, this is interesting. I'm not sure how that new AR headset will be called. I don't think it will be called Google Glass 2. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hopefully one day I will try this headset for you, the Google AR headset. Look what some people found in the internet. This is a Veer VR controller uh, from Tom Mann. This is how it looks. Yeah. Controller design, first person shooter. Hmm. I, I have no idea what, what that means with the Xbox. I mean, the Xbox doesn't support VR. So why do they put the um, VR controller here? Looks pretty good. I think it has some buttons here, the trigger and stuff. I think it also has haptic feedback. Looks really nice. But the question is where, when, what? <laughs> we have no idea what that is. I heard something about a Kickstarter campaign or what. Um, but for me, it's this is always a little bit tricky because for example, the, the big striker VR gun yeah, that I already tried, this is amazing. I love this gun, but it's not compatible to any games. I think you can all, only play like Arizona Sunshine or in two other games or what, and then it is. So I don't want to pay like 3000 bucks for a gun that I can only use in three games. And that's the biggest thing, the compatibility. Yeah, and I, I have no idea. I will try to focus on that. And uh, if I find something about that, I will report on my channel. Thank you so much to my new supporter, David Schwartz. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, as you perhaps see, uh, it's not going so well on my channels at the moment or, or every thing related to VR and so I really need your support. So if you want to have uh, early access to my videos and behind the scenes videos, this would be really awesome. Only one buck per month via Patreon or YouTube membership. Check out the first pin comment. Or if you want to support me for free, just go via my Amazon link and bookmark it. And every time you buy something on Amazon, please use that. Would be so cool. 
So let's check out the releases this week. On Steam we have Travel the Words. This is just a word puzzle game. Then Capture Kills. This is a mix of Among Us, Turing Test and Battle Royale. It's for free. Then RFVR. This is a VR RPG. I love RPGs. Um, it looks pretty good, but some uh, I'm not. It looks very simple with this. When I when I just see this live uh, line here, ah, that looks so cheap. I hope and and also this year that that looks very cheap. But yeah, I think I will try it. Then PC Virtual Lab. You can build a PC. It's for free. Hold controllers. Yeah. Um, you have a maze where you have to go around with a stick or something. You, you, you mustn't hit the edges. That's what I really love. I, I played this as a child and so I, I will show it on my channel perhaps. Golf pool. Yeah, this is golf pool. <laughs> you can buy it on Steam. Then we have Hyperwheel Overdrive. We are in this battle race cars or whatever that is and we had, can fight each other in the parkours and then we have the rock simulator which can just watch a rock that's it nice <laughs> and on quest 2 we have moss book 2 finally so i already showed the game on my channel you can find it in the info cards now um, it's the same on pc or, or uh, quest 2 so uh, i i don't show it again that doesn't make sense it's just the same story controls and everything on quest 2 so yeah that's it no uh, new games on rift or playstation vr this week so let's check out the sales. As you perhaps already saw uh, on Steam, there is the Steam VR Fest and this is huge. This is so huge. So this goes from July 18th to July 25th. So you have not much time when this video goes out. But uh, on the start page, you have a lot of cool games um, that are on sale. For example, uh, um, Super Hot VR 60% of Pavlov 80%, Skyrim VR 67%, uh, and half the best VR game ever, uh, Half Life Alex is 50% off. And uh, you can scroll here, this is so cool. The new Kaja VR Mirage is 15% off. So many. There are so much that I definitely can cannot show everything here. So what I all, always do is the games that I want to have uh, in the future, I put on my wish list and you um, go here on uh, shop and, and wish list and then you see all your wish listed games that are um, um, in, on sale yeah, with a green number and stuff and that's cool. But the, um, CVR Fest is not only about um, sales, it's also about demos. So if you go here on free demos, then you will find a lot of cool demos for existing VR games. For example, the new RFVR, O-Shape and stuff. There's also a demo for, for Undead Citadel. And, and this is um, a game that many people are looking forward to. I think I will show it on my channel. And uh, this is this is so nice, yeah. And um, ch really check out the Steam VR Fest. This is nice. But there are also some sales on the PlayStation VR. Star Wars Quadrants is 75% off. Here, uh, Marvel's uh, VR Adventure. This is a nice um, game that not many people know. It's a nice jump and run. 70% off. The Mage's Tale, nice action adventure. 80% off. Transpose is a VR puzzle game. 75% off. And R Park is a nice dinosaur adventure, 80% off. So this were the weekly news. If you want to support me, check out the first pinned comment. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.